welcome back in this segment we will discuss some specific examples uh, of tool drawings related to this course so you might see some of the principles and guidelines that we discussed in the previous segment uh, being applied on different drawings and here i will try to give you an idea of the uh, drawings uh, or the types of drawings that you will be repeatedly drawing uh, in this course so again the same guideline that if uh, possible two views should be used three views should be used only if the design becomes complicated uh, here is the example of of a leaf jig so we have tried to show the details of this jig uh, with the help of just two views and of course we haven't mentioned the dimensions here or we could use actually the detailed drawing to mention the dimensions one very important guidelines related to our course is the second point the designer should outline the workpiece in red for which the tool jig fixture or die is to be made this not only helps the designer but in most instances helps the tool maker or anyone else reading the print too so for example this part could be colored as red uh, in both views so that would have helped us to better read the drawing that okay this is the part in this assembly drawing and rest of the components shown are for the tooling and they are the parts of the jig so just remember this point and practice it whenever drawing an assembly drawing for any tooling that the part should be shown in red and the rest of the components of the tooling should be shown in black the die drawing is arranged somewhat differently so the plan view or the top view of the die holder is shown on the left so die holder top view is shown on the left and it is shown looking down at the die opening with the punch holder removed and the punch holder is shown to the right so this is uh, again our die set uh, the 3d view of the die set so this uh, top one is the punch holder and at the bottom this one is the die holder so in order to show the views of these punch holder and die holder this convention is followed so again the die holder is shown on the left side with the punch holder removed so we show this this view of the die holder on the left side and this punch holder is shown on the right but it is rotated 180 degree so let me show it so this is the top view of the die holder right so it is shown on the left side by removing the punch so we are assuming that there is no sorry by removing the punch holder so we are assuming that there is no punch holder attached on the right side is this one is the view for the punch holder by rotating it 180 degree so you can see this dotted circle is actually showing this this shank so if we hadn't rotated it it, it shouldn't be dotted so this is something this convention you should keep in mind front and side views are also used for clarity so you can very easily imagine that this is the front view of this die set and on the right this is the side view so this is very important convention that we will always need whenever we are drawing the uh, dimensions and sizes of punch and die in sheet metal working so that is why i repeat that this one on the left side is top view of the die holder the bottom part this is the top view of punch holder rotated 180 degree this is front view of the die set and this is the side view of the die set so remember this sometimes section view of the die set is shown in close position and section to reveal as many of the working parts of the die set as possible 
So same thing can be shown in this way, although we will be following the convention, follow, uh, convention showed on the previous slide, but sometimes you can imagine here, you can visualize here that this is the punch, this bottom is the die, this one is the stripper plate. So sometimes we can show the details of punch and die in this way as well stripper plate. So this is also possible to show the details in this way. Or we can slightly change this convention and we can show the punch and die in half open, half closed position. So on the right side, this one is the top position of the punch and die on the left side is the bottom position of the punch and die. So you can see this is the drawing punch. This is the drawing die. And again, this is the drawing die and this is the drawing punch. So this convention is sometimes also used to show the details of a stamping punch and die. This is the plug gauge. We will uh, draw this gauge as well in our uh, module on inspection tooling. So this is the go side that is longer in length. This is the north go side, go and not go that is smaller in length. Machine surface, again, we have used a word here to describe this feature. We have used words here as well to describe the machining process here. And this is a snap gauge, again, one view is used and thickness is, mayor, uh, thickness is mentioned in words. We have not repeated the same dimensions on four corners. We have just to use this uh, number four to show that all these four corners should have this radius. Again, words being used to designate the sides of the gauge. So this is example of snap gauge. So I try to show you some specific examples of tooling that you will be drawing in this course. In the next segment, we will discuss uh, the concept of uh, limits and tolerance. Thank you very much.